This telescope, the Webb, is a hundred times more powerful than the Hubble Space Telescope. Wow. And if you look at these pictures, you see each dot. Each dot represents a galaxy, a galaxy of a hundred billion stars. The biggest cosmological mystery just got a whole lot more complicated. The James Webb Space Telescope has sent numerous interesting images to Earth including stunning images of spiral galaxies and nebulas, as well as glimpses of exoplanets that may be habitable and possibly support extraterrestrial life. Observing the period of time when the earliest galaxies are thought to have formed is one of the main scientific objectives of the James Webb Space Telescope in order to learn more about the specifics of their beginning, evolution, and composition. Now it has helped uncover another scientific revelation, which could rewrite what we know about how the universe came into being. The telescope appears to be breaking its own record for the furthest galaxy ever observed, with each extended look into the past. Webb has made the surprising discovery of thousands of galaxies that look familiar to our own Milky Way galaxy. These Milky Way-like galaxies with their beautiful disks and delicate spiral arms were first observed more than 10 billion years ago, swarming through the universe. This discovery is shocking because these galaxies shouldn't have existed in the early universe. And what's even more astonishing is that scientists typically believe they must have favorable conditions for finding life because of the fact that we also live in a disk galaxy. If that's the case, life may have originated in the universe earlier than previously thought. Join us today as we explore more about these amazing galaxies and why this discovery is so important for astronomy. Since its launch in late 2021, James Webb has focused mostly on gazing out into the farthest regions of space in order to look for clues about how the early universe evolved. When researchers first pointed Webb towards what appeared to be empty areas of the sky to search for these far-off galaxies, they discovered something quite unexpected. They discovered many more of these really old galaxies than anyone expected some of which date back as far as a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope has discovered more than 1,000 galaxies lurking out in the early universe that resemble our own Milky Way, according to a recent study by a group of international researchers. These Milky Way look alike galaxies, which are shaped like with their disks and have delicate spiral arms, at a time when it was believed that the expansion of such tiny galaxies could not have occurred due to violent galactic mergers. However, recent research shows that disk galaxies were 10 times larger in the early universe than previously believed by astronomers. For more than 30 years, it was believed that these disk galaxies were rare in the early universe due to the frequent violent encounters that galaxies undergo. However, the strange discovery joins other web discoveries that point to a growing mystery surrounding how large galaxies, and with them the potential for life, first developed in our universe. The fact that James Webb discovers so many is just another evidence of the instrument's capability, and the fact that galaxies develop earlier in the universe than anyone had previously thought. Most galaxy formation theories start between 1 and 2 billion years after the universe's creation, when the initial star clusters were believed to have transformed into dwarf galaxies. Following the start of their mutual cannibalism, these dwarf galaxies merged violently, leading after 10 billion years to the formation of massive galaxies like our own. It is one of the most common types of galaxies in the cosmos today, with spiral arms and a squashed sombrero shape. However, scientists have long anticipated that galaxies like our own would be quickly bent out of shape during the early stages of the universe, when the cosmos was more congested and dwarf galaxies were in abundance. 
But when astronomers used the Webb telescope to look back 9 billion to 13 billion years, they found that 1,672 of the 3,956 galaxies they observed were disk galaxies like our own. When the universe was just a few billion years old, many of these galaxies already existed. The results were surprising, showing that many disk galaxies unexpectedly survived this period of frequent violent galaxy mergers, which were expected to have destroyed their relatively fragile shapes. What makes this discovery so important? Because of their relatively stable structures, disk galaxies are thought to be particularly well-suited for the emergence of life, as they have gravitational properties that are more beneficial for planet formation. The fact that they existed in the early universe, in much greater quantities than previously thought, could mean many more opportunities for the development of alien life. However, the discovery forces us to rethink our understanding of how our own universe came into being. Scientists believe that disk galaxies were almost non-existent until the universe was roughly six billion years old until they were discovered using the Hubble Space Telescope. These fresh web findings move the formation date of these Milky Way-like galaxies almost to the Big Bang. This raises questions about how galaxies develop and how the early universe as a whole has changed over time. By implying that most stars form and exist within galaxies like our own, but how the James Webb Telescope spotted these ancient galaxies. Because of the infrared wavelength at which its equipment operate, Webb can identify extremely far-off galaxies. The Hubble Space Telescope, which operates largely in the optical light wavelength, which is equivalent to what human eyes can see, had previously spotted a limited handful of extremely distant galaxies. Redshift is the term for the process whereby galaxies' light is shifted towards the red end of the spectrum as they migrate farther and farther away from us as a result of the universe's expansion. The light from the extremely distant galaxies that early universe researchers are interested in has been redshifted so far that it can only be seen in the infrared. As a result, Hubble's instruments had to work extremely hard to find even a few of these galaxies, whereas Webb found many of them within a few days of the telescope beginning its science operations. Scientists usually refer to these galaxies when talking about them in terms of their age rather than their distance from Earth. For example, they would say that a galaxy is from the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang rather than being thousands of billions of light years away. That is also a result of the universe's expansion, which produces a shifting frame of reference that makes it challenging to accurately describe distance. This means that the majority of stars are found and form in these galaxies, which fundamentally alters our understanding of how galaxies develop. These findings force scientists to reevaluate their theories about how the universe began and how galaxies have evolved over the last 10 billion years. This discovery also raises intriguing issues about the origin of big galaxies and consequently the emergence of life in the universe. Given that the Milky Way, a disk galaxy, is where we ourselves reside, both may have developed far earlier than first thought. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting space-related content. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.